The 2021-22 season has come to an end, and all that's left to do is recap the final game week. And what a dramatic way for it to end, with Man City coming back from two goals down against Aston Villa to secure first place, while Leeds ensured their survival with a 94th minute winner against Brentford. It was a rollercoaster finish for Rhys James, who conceded to Watford in the 87th minute, but set up the winning goal in the 91st. And likewise with Andy Robertson, who lost his clean sheet to Wolves in the opening three minutes, but redeemed himself with a goal in the 89th minute. In true Game Week 38 fashion, we were spoiled with goals, 39 in fact, leaving Crystal Palace and Spurs as the only sides to keep clean sheets. It looked for a while like it wasn't going to be Hyung Min Son's day. He'd squandered three or four really good chances before finally getting on the score sheet against Norwich, and quickly adding a second. But Mason Mount failed to fulfil his promise, despite recording two big chance involvements. In fact, only Son, Kane and Salah took more shots than his five on the final day. Ivan Tony added to the disappointment, a late transfer to replace Richarlison, who earned himself the day off after helping Everton secure their survival last Thursday. But goals from Kanan and Ketia made the score a slightly more respectable 70 points, with a 4 point hit to be deducted. Sadly not enough for a green arrow, so it's a fitting end to what has been a tough old season, with a fall down to 93k. And that becomes my worst ever finish in 9 seasons since starting this channel. But I think this season was unique in a lot of ways, with huge point swings on 50-50 decisions like never before. Not to mention all of the fixture disruption, causing an insane number of double game weeks, and ultimately reducing the pool of players we had to choose from at times. For me, I think my biggest downfall was the chip strategy, looking back. Ahead of game week 26, I was sat at 35k with all four chips remaining, and then on a Friday night before a Saturday morning deadline, we got an unexpected announcement of fixtures which tempted me into playing an early wildcard, rather than playing the triple captainship on Salah that week as planned. I slowly climbed up to a rank of 22k by game week 28, but it wasn't really enough of a rise when you consider that I'd used all four chips back to back. And it's essentially been a long run of red arrows ever since. But nevertheless, thanks for tuning in to the FPL Tips channel for another season. Your support and engagement is much appreciated. Let me know in the comments how you got on on the final day. Enjoy the break! And I'll see you in a few weeks for more FBL content ahead of the new season.